Today we're going to talk about my R5C cinema rig, which I was really against. I didn't want to build it and anyone that I saw walking around with a DSLR shaped camera built out to be a cinema rig, I, I just cringed at it and I didn't want to be that person. And here we are. Listen, I had no choice. For the past few months, I was a part of a documentary called I'm Just a YouTuber. In filming a documentary, you can be on shoots for hours on end. And having the R5C, if you guys are familiar with it, the LP6 batteries that it takes only last about 20 minutes, and that's not with recording time. So needless to say, I needed a battery solution, and that just kicked off this whole R5C cinema rig. Now going down the list, of course, we have the Canon R5C. Listen, I love this camera. It looks amazing. I've gotten to know it a lot better compared to the first week that I had it because the first week I had it, I wanted to return this thing immediately. The body I've been shooting on previous to the R5C was the R5. I was just so much used to the R5 that I was way quicker with it, with the settings, everything. When I grabbed the R5C, it was like holding a camera for the first time ever again. Even though I ordered six LP6 batteries for the R5C, it still wasn't gonna be enough to film a documentary shooting all day long. So I started to gather everything that I needed to build a battery rig, and the first thing that I grabbed was the cage from Small Rig for the R5C. It's a pretty solid cage, and it has all the connection points that I need. And Small Rig being a company that offers a lot more solutions for different attachments that go on the cage, it was just a no-brainer. Once we slapped the cage on, I needed a battery mounting solution. And of course, small rig came out exactly when I was looking for one, a compact V-mount. I really like this battery holder because it is just so practical and out of the way. If I need to access my screen in the back of the camera, I can just flip the battery down and instantly get back to the buttons behind the camera and also the screen. And to power this bad boy, I got the small rig VB99 V-mount battery. And this battery is great, fully charged, it'll last me more than half the day. And as backup, I do have a second V-mount battery, and this one's from FX Line. I will say I do care about the looks of it, and the small rig battery absolutely looks way better set up. On long days of filming, it's not very practical to hold your DSLR-shaped cinema camera with two hands like you would hold a DSLR. So I ended up getting a top handle and I got the NATO top handle. So this one's from Small Rig. The way it fits in the hand with the grooves for the fingers, the ergonomics are incredible. Now that I had the V-mount battery blocking the back of the camera, I couldn't get to the built-in screen. And this is where the Atomo Shinobi comes into play. I'd used this monitor a few times before and it got the job done for me. I no longer had to flip out my LCD screen out to the side, which the V-mount setup from Small Rig makes it very easy, and the Shinobi really saved me from a lot of neck pain because I would hold the camera and just have the monitor at eye line. So, so far you can see how I didn't really want to build out a rig, but getting each piece then ended up requiring me to get the next piece and it's just, yeah, that's how, that's how it happens. Now let's move on to cables. Camera's powered by the V-mount battery using a USB-C cable that I bought from Amazon. I bought two kinds, ones that are straight USB-C and one with an angled USB-C. I run the angled side of the cable on the V-mount and the straight side into the camera so that way it's not obstructing any of the other ports on the camera. The HDMI cable that I use for the monitor is from Condor Blue. It's the coiled one so it stays out of the way but if I need it to reach further then I can also so just stretch it out. And last but not least, the lens. The lens that I have living on my R5C Cinema Rig is the Canon 50mm 1.2 along with the Moment anamorphic adapter. When I was looking to buy an anamorphic lens, I realized how pricey they were and I had the opportunity to try out the Moment anamorphic adapter, which I fell in love with. It looks very crisp. Ever since I put that lens combination together, I haven't looked back and it just, looks, to me at least, a lot better than just photography lenses on the camera. With that said, I will be investing into some proper cine lenses set of adapters. For audio, I switch back and forth between the Rode shotgun mic and the DJI lapel mic. With the setup, I can have the shotgun mic and the DJI mic ready to go. All I need to do is switch out the audio cables and within seconds, I have access to a shotgun mic or the lapel mics. That's pretty much it guys, that's the entire rig. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a few things. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments or you can just reach out to me on Instagram at this handle right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you all and I'll see you next time.